Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the highly requested leave-in conditioner with a ton of slip. I formulated this specifically to be high quality, something you can find right out of the store, and something that actually works to give you so much slip. I formulated this conditioner to be as close to store quality as possible. If there are some ingredients you don't agree with, leave some comments down below. We can talk about it and have a little bit more conversation about the ingredients I'm using today. So let's jump right into the video. Today's formula is more advanced. If you're looking for an easier formula, please leave a request down below in the comment section. So here are a list of goals I had in mind while formulating this conditioner. This helped me pick out my ingredients. I was looking for a ton of slip. As you can see, my son has a lot of hair. It is super long, is super thick, and it mats easily. So I wanted something that could make the process easier. I wanted softening properties. I wanted definition, but I still wanted it to be lightweight and his hair to still feel like hair and not be weighed down by oils. I also wanted a milky consistency that will fit into like a squeeze bottle uh, to make it easier to deal with, okay? So these are some of the things I was thinking about when formulating this detangler. There are some key ingredients you need to make a good detangler. I will be reviewing them in phases, starting with phase A, which is our water phase, Phase B will be our oil phase and phase C will be our cool down phase. Starting with phase A, which is our water phase, you will need distilled water, especially since this formula is 80% plus water. You definitely need the cleanest water possible to fight off any bad bacteria or other nasties growing in your product. We're going to be using a water soluble thickener, which is Garcat. Garcat is also a conditioning agent, so it's going to give your conditioner so much slip. Let's hydrate our Garcat. In order to hydrate our Garcat, you need to agitate the water and then sprinkle it in. I do not recommend adding glycerin because it's just going to clump and lump up, okay? So just add it directly to the water and just use your blender to mix it well. Now you will notice that it's not going to thicken up right away because it needs to be under a pH of 7 in order to start thickening up okay so you want to check your ph and then use some type of ph adjuster to bring the ph down below seven in order for your gar cat to start thickening up okay so this is one of those more advanced features of this formula but it's super easy to do you guys if you want to talk more about it leave a comment down below all right, so here you can see that the water face has definitely started to thicken up, but we're not done yet. I will be adding glycerin, but separately, okay? So I didn't create a slurry. I'm just using glycerin for its humectant benefits, okay? I also will be using propendial. Propendial works a lot like glycerin, but it's not as sticky. It actually works with glycerin to help reduce the tackiness. It's going to improve your detangling properties. It's going to help boost your preservative as well, and they're going to work together to bring in moisture and hydrate those hair strands. So it's really good for hair products to combine these two ingredients they kind of work better they kind of boost each other up our last water phase ingredient is multifunctional it is a conditioning agent but it also works as a thickener it's going to help thicken the water phase okay polyquaternium 10 has many hats one of my favorite is that it helps with curl retention and it's also going to help the overall feel of your hair Polyquaternium 10 is one of those ingredients that you want to research for yourself to make sure it's right for you. I really just love how well it thickens up without having to add any additional thickeners in the oil phase. Speaking of the oil phase, we are now done with the water phase. Let's set that to the side and focus on phase B. Phase B, we're starting off with Lotion Pro 165. This emulsifier is so important because it's not going to thicken the formula. It's just going to marry the water and oil phase together so that they bind. Especially since we have such a small oil phase, we need an emulsifier like this that will allow them to come together without separating. So we will get a stable emulsion 
without worrying about it being overly thick and we'll be able to control how thick we want it to be. So this is the perfect emulsifier to use if you're looking for something like a lightweight leave-in conditioner. Next is shea butter. I'm using it for its softening properties and also for its healing properties. You really can't go wrong with shea butter. Our next ingredient is dimethicone. It is a silicone. It's gonna help improve the barrier that will keep moisture in, okay? It also is going to improve the slip and the glide. This is what really gives you that feel that you're looking for in your conditioners. It's going to reduce tackiness and just overall improve the conditioning properties of your leave-in conditioner. Polyquat 7 has a lot of similar properties except for it's not a silicone. It is a conditioning agent. It's going to help reduce static which is going to allow your curls to clump together and it's going to be easier to detangle. It's going to add a ton of slip and it's really what gives your conditioner that really velvety feel that you're looking for if you're looking for a detangling agent that will not build up on your hair this is the one to go for however it will not thicken like polyquat 10. all right for our last oil face ingredient we're using sweet almond oil this is just an emollient that we're using to add more softening properties and to reduce frizz all right you guys that was a lot of ingredients to get through but we are finally done with the oil and water face we're going to place them both in a water bath and I am heating them on the stove until the oil phase is completely melted down and the water phase has come up to a similar temperature, which I believe was right around 150 degrees. Now I'm going to add my water phase directly into my oil phase and then I'm just going to mix it around with my steering rod. So one thing we're doing differently for this formula is we're not blending at this stage. Usually after we create the emulsion, we'll go ahead and use our immersion blender to further make uh, the water and oil phase bond. We will not be doing that here. I just will be stirring thoroughly and for a longer period of time, okay? So I will be stirring until my mixture cools down and I will be checking the temperature throughout because I wanna make sure that it is cooled down because I will be introducing some ingredients that are very sensitive to heat. This is called the cool down phase, okay? This is for items like your preservative or maybe your fragrance oil, even some other ingredients that are just purely heat sensitive and will lose their benefits if in, introduced to heat okay so I'm just going to continue to mix and as I mix and as it cools down you can see it starts to thicken look how beautiful and silky and lovely you guys you can see the slip in this condition already can't you see the slip it is amazing I'm telling you so I'm just going to continue to stir and stir and mix and mix and play in this wonderful uh, conditioner until it gets below I believe 104 this was the safest temperature for my preservative and also other ingredients okay our first cool down ingredient is poly gel emollient this is an equal friendly emollient that is multifunctional. It has so many benefits, it's crazy. It's conditioning, it's moisturizing, it's softening. It also acts as a thickener. It's gonna help to thicken up your formula and you can add little by little to get the consistency that you're looking for even in the cool down phase. That's crazy. It's actually a great alternative to other raw oils that can be a little too oily for your detangler. So definitely give it a try, look it up you guys. Next up, we have hydrolyzed rice protein. It nourishes the hair, it prevents damage, and improves manageability, which is exactly what I need for Keelani's hair, okay? After adding each ingredient, make sure you are mixing it in well, okay? So I will be combining my fragrance oil and my preservative together and I will be adding them separately. I do this because your fragrance oil and your preservative can drastically change your entire formula. It can destabilize it. It can also cause it to be thicker or, or looser. You just want to kind of test it first to make sure everything is okay before you completely destroy your entire batch, okay? So it just really makes sense to do a smaller sample size to just test it out and make sure everything is uniform. And then you can add that back into your larger batch in order to incorporate your preservative in your fragrance oil. And this fragrance oil smells so good, you guys. It's a silver sparkling that I got from Brambleberry a while ago and it smells amazing. Is perfect for this leave-in conditioner. All right, we are almost done. Next, we want to check our pH, especially for a detangling conditioner, because we want it to be 
on the more acidic side so it will cling to the hair and really bond with the hair strands okay to test the ph all you need is a 10 percent dilution just get two grams of your product at 20 grams of distilled water and then mix it together to dilute it then check your ph if it's in a range that you're comfortable with especially a range that fits or makes your preservative effective then you can go ahead about your business life is all good okay if not then you will want to follow suit to add at least citric acid or some other acidifier that will lower the ph of your product 5.08 is within the 4.5 to 5.5 range so i'm okay with that i'm perfectly fine with that so i'm not going to adjust uh, the pH for this product okay and look how beautiful it is you guys the viscosity and the thickness is just perfect absolutely perfect it's free flowing but it has that perfect viscosity where it's almost jelly but not quite jelly it will give you a slight hold but it's more conditioning than it is a gel uh, it's just that perfect in between almost like yogurt type looseness i cannot explain it you guys you just have to feel it on your yourself and when i tell you as soon as you put this in your hand it's just slip 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 like constant slip and it's not sticky it's not tacky it's not too thick it's just the perfect perfect consistency you guys to use this leave-in detangler i would use it on wet hair or either damp hair you can section is up to you you want to apply it from roots to tip and you want to detangle using your fingers a wide tooth comb or a brush gently detangle okay and then after that you can style as usual like i said it does give you a slight hold but it's not a lot of hold it's just enough to create that definition and to really uh keep those curls plumped and defined okay just enough for that so you'll still have that really lightweight uh wash and go type hair okay so you can use it for as a styler just by itself you can do that but like i said the hold is very very slight it's just enough to create that curl and keep that curl in place okay all right, you guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did try to get some clips of me using the product in Kilani's hair, but it was so dank, you guys. Like, it was low quality, and the resolution was bad, and it was blurry. So I just... Uh, just just a few little clips in there just so you guys can see how well the detangler works also i got a couple of giveaways and other things coming up you guys so make sure you're subscribed make sure you like comment and hit that notification bell it's the only way you can keep up with me also follow me on instagram you guys you can keep up with me there i put a lot of updates on instagram now well at least i'm trying to post there more as well okay and i will see you guys in the next video bye Son por ahí todos y todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer y tu amigo Pero en vivo solo contigo Disfruto el show, bebé, alright Así está, dime pa' dónde vas Que yo te caigo donde sea Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete de la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza a los pies